Hello, Tim from Fair Play now, 5th of May 2021, and yes, yeah, pretty much the first day I've been able to come out in just a t-shirt. Just, it's still a bit chilly, but I think I'll get away with it. And I've noticed um, my arms here, because on the shopping trip in London on the 24th, got myself a an overdose of vitamin D, otherwise known as sunburn. And I'm just getting to the stage now where the older arms are uh, be beginning to peel. So I actually put the old sun cream on my face, but not on my arms, so that's a bit silly. I'm not exactly the cleverest bloke you're looking at here, but I'm gonna make sure I get properly sun creamed up before the next shopping trip. I'm having serious trust issues here. I don't know about you, but what do you make of this whole India, India thing? Because the mainstream media are absolutely full of it at the moment. I mean, the hospitals are overflowing, the graveyards are overflowing, uh, there's people dying on the streets, and all the rest of it. I'm sure you've seen it. And you sort of think, well, do I trust that, really? And yes, if there are people dying over there, obviously I don't mean to make light of it, and it's always a tragedy when people die, but I'm looking at it through the lens of all the other lies and inconsistencies that the mainstream media have been coming out with for uh, a year or so now. And a couple of inconsistencies that strike me about India right from the start is how is it that they've been more or less okay with the whole situation for over a year and it's only now that they've got these massive problems. So that's inconsistency number one. Inconsistency number two with them, uh, how is it that we're coming out of winter and into our summer, and just like last summer, our cases and deaths are going right down because, yeah, the warmer weather's coming and people don't suffer as much from these sort of uh, upper track uh, viral infections uh, as they do in the winter. Um, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I thought that India was a hot country. <laughs> so essentially they've got at least our summer conditions all the time, um, if not absolutely scorching hot. So why have they got, you know, if we don't have the problem in the summer, why have they got the problem? So that's a, li a little bit strange. And also, I'm sure there's a lot of this overly sensitive PCR testing going on where even a pineapple would test positive. And then, so that's where they're getting their cases from. And then if you die within 28 days of one of those false positive tests, you get put down as a death from the virus. So I'm sure they're working that scam as well. But it's a terrible thing when you can't even trust your media, your mainstream media. And in fact, the people I do trust, which it's just sort of obviously smaller sources, but I saw a video from, I think it's a Ukrainian girl who lives in India. And you know, these people sort of supposedly dead on the streets well, she was saying that a lot of Indians sleep on the street anyway. They, uh, that's, that's what they do. They're too, a lot of them are too poor to sleep anywhere else. So they just sleep on the streets. And she was saying that she hasn't really seen much evidence of the problem, just like we didn't hear when we we're at the height of our problem as well. Uh, so... Yeah, that's a bit funny. And then I think it's UK Column News or one of these other news sources like that was saying they were showing dead bodies on the street, supposedly from this crisis. But then they noticed that the picture or photo looked familiar and the uh, 
photo was actually from some gas leak they had over there about this time last year where the dead people on the street were from this gas or chemical leak whatever it was and not from this so i don't know what you think i'm deeply suspicious of it all and i just don't trust them at all as i say if there are people genuinely dying of the virus then yeah that's not to be made light of but i just don't trust them i'm sorry you've just lied too much and been too inconsistent in the past for me to believe what you're saying now you know if you wanted me to believe what you're saying now and to take you seriously you shouldn't have been lying and been inconsistent in the past should you what do you think about that i leave comment in the comment section below as to what your thoughts on this whole india thing are i'm i'm sure it's to just keep the fear level up here you know just as we are supposedly coming out of the uh, restrictions and into summer i'm sure they just want to keep the fear just bubbling away a little bit under the surface um so yeah that could be part of it as well yeah just a few thoughts i'll be back later with another video got an interesting one to share which i'll sort out later on but i've got to go and do a few electrical jobs now i've got a some down lights to change over from those horrible 12 volt things with transformers to some nice mains voltage led down lights for this uh, lady so i've just got her stuff here now and i'll be making my way along there and i will sort of come back with another video later on but until then tim from fair play now thanks for watching